All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Tripping Ain't Easy. I am your host, Trip Simpson, coming at you with another version of hashtag Black Celebrities Are Trash. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what I mean by Black Celebrities Are Trash, let me break it down for you. No, I do not think all Black Celebrities Are Trash, but when I do shows with that hashtag or that title all I'm trying to do is point out the fact that a lot of these people whether they're doing it consciously or subconsciously um, are very negligent with their influence over the culture and I think a lot of times we overlook this piss poor behavior as if, you know, it's just entertainment or this is just their opinion, it's just their view. I mean, smart communities and small, smart cultures control their image. And that's something that we just tend not to do. So with this show, it's not to necessarily bash anyone, even though it may come off like that. It's to simply just show um, the negligent nature in which a lot of these people um, uh, operate. And the, and the the, neg- the negligent way that they handle their influence. So, with all that being said, we definitely got a very interesting show for you tonight. Um, but, bef- but, but before we do that, good family, I need a favor from you, family. I need you to go ahead and like this video and hit the subscribe button. After you hit the subscribe button, hit the notif- hit the notification bell for me. I know you can do that, family, can't you? I know you're gonna look after family. I know you're gonna look after family. What family are you talking about, Ice? <laughs> Fuck, I look invisible, nigga. But anyway, very interesting stuff coming up this week. Um, so what I want to discuss today, very briefly, is uh, well-known actress. Uh, you 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 know her best probably from the Baby Boy movie. Uh, she played the mom in the Baby Boy movie, and she also played in House Party. Uh, her name is AJ Johnson. And uh, recently she was on the Lip Service podcast with Angela Yee and also featured in a um, popular Essence magazine article that's circulating, circulating all around social media. Um, I'm going to read that article for you. But a long story short, um, it's basically her bragging about Getting Yeah, you heard that. That's a train sound. She's bragging about getting Now, of course, in typical uh, black celebrity form, she doesn't take any accountability for her poor actions. She called it a threesome or making love to two men at the same time. I'm going to get into this article. It's fucking crazy. But um, it just goes to show you like here we have a 60 year old woman on a show that a lot of younger women watch basically encouraging young women to get trains ran on them. Oh, excuse me. I don't think I should say that. To get trying to watch my language so I can get monetized eventually. (laughs) Bear with me. But anyway, let me get into this article. All right. So, AJ Johnson celebrated turning 50 by having a threesome. Happy birthday to me, she says. Oh, my God. (laughs) It was so effortless and so sexy, but sexy not in a sexual way. <laughs> God damn, this is crazy. All right, so let me get to the article. All right, February 3rd, 2022. Actress and life therapy host AJ Johnson knows quite a bit about living well and a part of a healthy and happy lifestyle is a good sex life. The 58-year-old star opened 58 years motherfucking old. The 58-year-old star opened up about her own while visiting the Angela Yee by visiting with Angela Yee on the radio personality's popular podcast, Lip Service. 
While the women were discussing the topic of whether or not threesomes involving one woman and two men would ever be normalized, Johnson surprised the host by saying she's had the experience. But whatever one might assume that experience would be like was the opposite of how she says things went down. Stop the cap. Come on, man. Let me stop right there for a second. Ladies, if you have sex with more than one man at one time, you are being trained. Or you can call it G's, g tossed up, tag, tag team, DP, split roasted, whatever you want to call it. But understand, if you partake in this form of sex, you will be ridiculed. Now, granted, I'm not knocking any woman for doing it. I'm not knocking you at all. Hell, you'll save a whole lot of men a whole lot of time if you just let everybody toss you up. I mean, think about it. You and your homeboys go to the bar. Everybody doesn't have to go find a chick. You just find this one chick that likes, get to likes getting tossed up. Boom, the whole crew's happy. Knock yourself out, ladies, if this is what you want to do. But it's consequences to that. But anyway, let me get back into the article. Honestly, I've only done that. Two men, she revealed, saying it happened during a 50 during a 50th birthday trip to St. Bart's. They traded off. Oh my god. <laughs> Lord, they traded off. Man, where did I leave myself at? Uh, okay, blah blah blah. They traded off. They were friends and they traded off. It was the best 50th birthday party ever. It was never like them together. They were flip-flopping me, and it was like, oh my goodness. It was like doing the salsa with two guys at the same time. Just romantic. Stop the cap. Come on, man. And sexy and never intertwined. But at the same time, it was two. The two guys were friends. They were black men from France who only spoke French during the encounter, which Johnson speaks fluently. That added to the romantic, sensual experience. And the Cafe Patron they were drinking didn't hurt. No shit. It was so effortless and so sexy, but not in a sexual way. Stop the cap. God damn, I keep losing my place. They were very gentle, she says. They treated me like I was a queen. It wasn't freaky. Stop the cap. <laughs> it wasn't freaky. It wasn't like an internet porn. It wasn't like an internet porn site crap. It was just very sensual, sexy, and romantic. Stop the cap. Come on, man. All right, let me get through this article. The fact that it was such a laid back experience allowed for Johnson to continue to enjoy the company of the friends even after their night together. They actually had one more before she returned to the, before she returned home. Thank you for your service. We all went to breakfast and it was like three friends that hung out and had a good time, she told the host. It was weird because it was not like I was into that. I had never done it before, but but it was happy birthday to me and it was happening. And as it was happening, I was like, this is happening? This is actually happening. Then I just kind of relaxed and let it happen. The next morning we were like the three musketeers. <laughs> I was like, so what time tonight? Thank you for your service. Whoa. Despite how all this may sound, Johnson said it it's, was beautiful, not raunchy. It was a beautiful, not raunchy experience she would recommend. For a birthday party, get some Cafe Patron, go on St. Bart's, and let me know how it goes, she joked. Wow. Just wow. So there you have it. You have a 60 year old woman recommending to younger women, most specifically younger black women, ones who watch this show, to get tossed up or I never thought it could this, get this bad people. I never thought it could get this bad. When you have a woman that's old enough to be most people's grandmothers, giving this type of advice, fellas, Take a pause real quick. I want to talk specifically to the ladies because I want you guys to understand how detrimental, excuse me, how detrimental, it's early, how detrimental this could be 
to your reputation. I'm not here to suppress or oppress any woman who wants to explore her sexuality. All I'm telling you is that there's consequences and there's repercussions to your actions. So if you do want to take the advice of Miss AJ Choo Choo Train Johnson, just know any man that you ever want to take seriously, you can never divulge this information to him. Because if, if, if it's one thing we don't respect, it's one, a woman with way too many bodies, and two, matter of fact, number one is a woman who's been G'd. Number two is a woman with way too many bodies. And any man that will show you off all around town Knowing that that's your past, I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for him, man. Like my man said, uh, you know, I can't say it. I'll just let the clip say it. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. Never do that. Never do that. But anyway, let me know how you feel in the comments. Uh, this is just a quick, short video. I just wanted to go through the article, get some points off. Um... Just want to remind everybody, look out for Straight Talk, Straight Talk No Chase live weeknights on this channel. Also look out for our other show uh, with the ladies, me and Cosby Digital, friends with the promoter. And I uh, also got some content I'll be working on with Kirk Keys uh, with the younger generation. But uh, stay, to stay, stay tuned to Straight Talk No Chase Network. Uh, we got a lot of good concepts coming out. And I'll catch you on the next one.